Hello, this video is about the bougainvillea shrub here in the Arizona desert climate. My name is Eli Hall and I'm with AMS Landscaping. These bougainvillea shrubs come in a few varieties. I've seen them as shrub-like form. I've seen them both dwarf and then real mature, uh, your traditional shrubs. I've also seen vine-like trailing vine bougainvillea and they come in several different colors as well. You can get them in, uh, mostly you see them in red, but they're purple, pink, uh, different varieties, different colors of shrubs here in the greater Phoenix area. These shrubs are great for large areas that you wanna fill in and just give some vibrant color because they just are absolutely beautiful. The flowers, they have thousands of blooms throughout the spring and summer months are actually going nuts right now here in the Phoenix area. They are fast growing, very dense. They have an oval-like shaped leaf. I think it's pretty thick. Uh, with with foliage when, when it's in full sun. It's also got thorns, so you gotta be cautious. Very large thorns, so they can be real prickly if you get your, you know, get into them, which sometimes people like to use as a barrier. You know, they average at usually six to eight feet in height at maturity, but I've seen them get as 15. I even saw one as high as 20, 25 feet. You can get, they, I've seen them get really large. Uh, they, they can even get as large as 20 feet in diameter. Uh, that's really at, at a, a very mature height. They do tend to freeze back in the winter once we get in that 28 degrees or below at night. If we get a real strong frost, you'll have to cut them back and then they just come right back the following year. They do okay in part, um, partial shade, where they also uh, are great is um, they're just evergreen. So they're, they're great for you know landscapes that you just want to fill in large areas because they are so fast growing because of that. Um, they tend to be a little bit more higher maintenance. They're drought tolerant, so they do much better here in our desert climate. However, they thrive best when you, you give them a deep watering at least two to three times a week. And I'll be sure to add a link somewhere with our recommended watering schedule here on this video, wherever you're viewing it. It grows well in real uh, in clay soils. Uh, does better uh, with you know some good drainage. Um, it is prone to like white flies, but I haven't really seen them do enough damage to really harm the plant. They just become more of an annoyance. They're also non-allergenic, which is great if you get allergies. Even though you're getting all these blooms, it doesn't really mean you're getting them. You know, if your allergies are reacting, they're not really occurring from that. I wanted to do a list of pros and cons real quick because they really are a great shrub, but I want people to be aware of some of these pros and cons. The pros are they're fast growing. They're just beautiful color. They're, uh, they're great for large, really large areas. And of course they're non-allergenic. Now, some of the cons. Uh, because they bloom thousands of these beautiful flowers, they shed heavily. So if you have a backyard with a swimming pool, you are going to hate the bougainvillea. Don't recommend it if you have a pool in your backyard, but if you don't, they're just absolutely gorgeous to look at. They're bad for small areas like real near walkways because you're trimming them so much. And of course they have thorns. So I really wouldn't put them in, in tight areas near paths. Um, and of course the thorns alone are just a con as well. Uh, because they are fast growing, they are higher maintenance. If you put them in a spot, they're gonna need a little bit more maintained. And even after when they get a frost, usually you need to cut them back. And so they're a little bit more higher maintenance than some of the other shrubs. You can get quite a bit of debris from them when you cut them back. Once again, my name is Eli Hall with AMS Landscaping out of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us uh, on our website at azlawns.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube page and follow us on Facebook at AMS Landscaping and check out our Instagram and Twitter pages at azlawns. Make it a great day. Oh,